Draw in customers. Here we go today. This is James. This is Draw in customers. And today we're going to take on the challenge of what to exactly put on your little company vehicle. So uh, maybe you got a company car, right? Company truck, company van. You know, and it's probably some hot rod looking thing like this, right? Boom, boom. And uh, you got a couple options, right? You want to put your phone number on there because uh, essentially every time that you go blazing past someone, that's free marketing. And uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity when it comes to that, right? So we recommend, you know, just fly down there. 90 miles an hour. That's more eyes seeing your vehicle. Don't, uh, you know, take that for face value as you will. So uh, let's just say you got this vehicle, right? This is an open. This is a canvas, right? You can put anything you want on there. Some people are crazy and they're like, uh, Joe's whatever the hell. And here's our number, right? They got this huge canvas and they put it right there, right? That's, uh, that's not a great idea. I'll tell you why. One, it looks like you're cheap. And if you look like you're cheap, sometimes people are going to call you up, if they call you up, and they're going to expect you to be the rock bottom price guy. Because, hey, man, we saw your van, and it looks like you only spent 50 cents on it. So chances are either you're spending all your money on crack or you, uh, you're you dirt cheap and you're not getting it in the first place. So uh, let's recommend against that. Now we got another option, right? Let's just say you're like this. Joe's, what the hell? What's one color, maybe two color? You got a little phone number. That's about one and a half steps above the little guy in the door. It just ain't great. It looks cheap. It looks kind of pitiful. When this is cruising past you, boom, you're thinking, you know what? That's just the front for a kidnapping van. It's a little creepy. So let's get rid of that. So you're like, James, what can possibly be better than that? Let me offer a suggestion, right? Let's just say we go crazy. Let's just say we make this the Red Racer, right? And it's like, Joe's, what the hell, right? And it says, pa pa pa, pa pa pa, whatever it is that you do. You know what? Jigga, 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 jigga. You want something that's so obnoxiously, well, artfully crafted and stuff like that, but you want it loud. You want it freaking loud. You want this thing to be the rolling billboard that it is. Now, you ever see a mystery machine go by, you know, for Scooby-Doo? Are you ever like, hmm, didn't see that van? You're always like, hey, man, it's a mystery machine, Scooby-Doo. Hey, that's pretty cool. You want a Scooby treat? Yeah. You're having a good time. So when you see a little thing with Joe's What the Hell going by, pfft, who cares, man? But you see a rolling rocket billboard like this, you are excited. Hey, man, Joe, I saw your What the Hell van going by. That looks so awesome. You want that. You want that reaction because people remember you. And then whatever it is the hell that you do, people are going to be like, hey, man, Joe, you got to talk to Joe. He's got those cool vehicles. You ever see that, Joe? He's got great vehicles. This is just what we recommend. And then you're going to counter argue. You're going to be like, hey, James, you know, when I put that little thing in my, my door there, that cost me like 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever. This is going to cost me like three, four grand, five grand, 20 grand. I don't know, whatever it is. A lot of money in relation to. Let me ask you a simple question. How much in your town is a billboard? How much does it cost? Let's say a decent highway billboard. It doesn't have to be the best one in town, right? Thousands of dollars a month, more than likely, right? Thousands. Now, if you've got a service van rolling around, it's passing or being seen by hundreds, if not thousands of people every single day. Now, why wouldn't you spend that kind of money to get this van that's seen every single day to be noticed instead of wasting your money on a little door thing, right? Little door thing is for people trying to escape taxes, right? This is for people that want to grow their business. Pow! I want to get noticed, right? That's marketing 101. Get noticed. People are going to be excited about this. And excited people spend money with you. So, though it's going to cost you some money initially, right? Pow! pow. It's going to grow. Pow! pow. And when people talk about you, they're going to be like, hey, man, that is great. I love that van. It's super awesome. Even if you cut them off, right? You're just blazing through traffic, right? They're going to be like, ah, that's kind of cool, right? Does anybody get pissed if the mystery machine ever cuts them off in traffic? You know, it's just, it's just not a thing, right? You're just so excited to see them. That's super great. That could be your business if you're not afraid to do it. So have some fun. This is James. This is Drawing Customers. Helping you get that van, that car, that company vehicle, whatever it is. Bringing you more business by having some fun with it. 